Okay, I'm here with uh, Tyler Bowden, Tyler Bowden Energy Solutions out of San Clemente, California, and today we're going to talk about solar panels being installed on roofs that have clay tiles. That's right. As you know, um, I signed a contract with um, Solar City right after Tesla had purchased them for a, a solar contract, and um, after their engineer came out and took a look at my roof. Uh, he went back to the office. A couple weeks later, I got a, a letter in the mail and uh, they canceled my solar contract because I had slanted clay tile roof. So fortunately, I ran across Tyler and what's good about Tyler is he represents five different companies. So regardless of what type of roof you have, he has a company that can uh, put solar panels on your roof. So what we're here to talk about is, you know, why, why some solar companies don't want to tackle a roof that have clay tiles on them. And so, you know, I'll throw the ball in your court, Ty uh, Tyler. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what's the deal with uh, clay tiles? Yeah. Yeah, so a clay tile roof is uh, just a little bit more of a challenging roof to work with uh, when you're installing solar, uh, largely because clay tiles are just super delicate. Uh, they're easy to break. And when you're mounting solar onto a roof, you have to attach into the, the rafters, uh, the roof joists. And, uh, and so you've got those tiles in between you and the roof joists and you gotta figure out something to do with those tiles. And typically with a, with a concrete tile roof, what you would do is you'd either drill a hole into it and seal that hole off and then go straight into the rafters. Or you might cut a hole into the tile and then go through and attach the rafter and then flash over that and seal it. Uh, or there's a, there's a method that can be used with a clay tile roof, uh, which is called a tile hook, uh, where the, the bracket kind of goes around and underneath the tile, and then it attaches into the roof joist. Uh, so some companies actually will install on, uh, on a clay tile roof using the tile hook, but it's a little bit uh, challenging still because the, t the tiles are so delicate that uh, you, could, you could definitely leave behind some broken tiles using the tile hook method. So. I'd say the most, uh, uh, the safest, uh, most waterproof way to in install on a, on a clay tile roof is what we did in your case, which is remove all the tiles and the felt paper, replace it with new felt paper, and then lay down composite shingles. Uh, and that's a very safe uh, roof material to attach into with solar. Uh, we install the solar onto the composite shingles and then come back and, and picture frame around the solar array with the existing clay tile. So it looks like we installed on the clay, uh, but we didn't. We actually installed on the composite. Yeah, it's a nice flush finish. I really like the way it turned out and how it looks. Yeah, it's kind of a low profile look because the yeah. tiles actually set in a little bit closer to the panels. Yeah, it, like, it almost looks like it's flush with them exactly. to a certain point. Yeah. yeah. I know my neighbor has... Um, he had the hooks put in. Okay, you remember, and so they sit up pretty high on top the, on top the clay tiles, and and uh, you know it doesn't look as flush. Right. Yeah. That's true. That's that's one uh, benefit of the composite method or the picture frame method, uh, as I call it. Uh, but the other benefit I think is with with your install, uh, there's less of a chance that you'd leave behind any chance of leaking. Whereas with your neighbor, because they were walking around on those clay tiles and moving those clay tiles around without actually removing them, uh, it leaves more risk of uh, any any micro fractures or cracks in the tiles that right. eventually down the road could could leak. Yeah, that was going to be my next question to you is about the leaking part that the sure. leaks that might happen with uh, the hook part. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just, you know, with, uh, with any, any, any tile roof uh, uh, where there's some level of fragility to the tiles, uh, you run the risk of uh, cracking the tiles and leaving behind uh, a, a location that could let water in and, and eventually run through and, and corrode the felt paper and eventually cause a leak. So clay tiles are, are no different and, in fact, probably the riskiest because they're the most delicate. And so the, the risk of leaving behind even a micro fracture that eventually could spread into a larger crack and let water in is, is much higher with a clay tile. So basically, companies are leery of the liability of installing solar on a clay tile roof because of the leakage issue. I think yes, the liability is one thing, but also headache. 
And I think with large companies, yeah. um, they tend to want to stray away from that type of a, of a roofing method because it takes more effort to actually go ahead and install the system. You have to, if you want to do it the right way, you have to bring in a roofer, a professional roofer to come in and do their part of the work. And uh, it takes more time and coordination to do that. So with these big companies, they've got so many projects coming through, they would prefer to have more of a cookie cutter approach to solar right. installs uh, so that they can kind of just come in and get out as soon as possible and, and uh, not have, have to have too much variability in the different projects they're doing. Well, I think uh, another thing that happened too that I, that I really liked uh, about the company you placed my business through is um, you packaged everything together in one contract. So I was able to get the uh, federal tax credits on the roofing portion that I had to come out of pocket for, because there is some expense you have to come out of pocket for in paying for that roofing as well. Um, and so that was nice. Uh, Tesla was going to do the same approach. They were, they were going to remove the clay tiles, re-roof and all that, but I was going to have to get my own roofer on a separate contract and deal with that and mm -hmm. then try and coordinate between the two of them. I see. So when you came along, it was like a breath of fresh air because everything was just compact, all in one contract. You guys sure. coordinated everything and with the roofer and the, the, the solar install and all that. Sure. Uh, and, and, and just a, a brief moment off the clay tiles, which is another issue, I think, that posed liability that Tesla didn't want to do. Uh, they weren't going to put clay t uh, they weren't going to put the solar panels on my flat roof over my garage they were going to put them on that other mm -hmm. uh, side of my roof that had the the sun sun opening uh mm -hmm. you know uh which really didn't get that much sun that part of the roof didn't get much sun so are flat roofs uh, another issue of liability with uh roofing and with yeah. uh, solar panels? Uh, yeah, so good good questions. And, and to answer your, your first uh, point uh, first, I'd say that, yeah, you know, larger companies might be less willing to roll in a roofer's work into their contract uh, because that adds liability to the solar company as well because the roofer then becomes a subcontractor on the job. And so they might want to separate that work from their own work so that they don't incur any, any liability on the project. And, right. and I think smaller companies are more willing to do that. They also partner with roofing companies that they know and trust and have relationships with, uh, ongoing relationships with. So they're willing to incur that liability um, uh, with the roofing company. But uh, but in, in terms of the, the, the area of your roof uh, that uh, was flat, uh, a lot of companies would stray away from flat roofs as well. Um, it's it's actually not a very difficult uh, roof to install on. You have what's called a rolled composition uh, flat roof, right. and so it's it's relatively easy to mount to. Yeah, with a flat roof, you do want to tilt the panels as we did in your case, right? Uh, so that they angle towards the sun. Um, and one thing uh, in in that case is we you know wanted to re-roof that flat section as well, right? Uh, yes. Because flat roofs don't tend to last as long as angled roofs or tile roofs. And so it's good to start off with a fresh, uh, sort of clean slate, brand new roof, install the solar on that, and, uh, and that way you know you have a, a long duration of life. Yeah, and plus over. flat roofs are, are more prone to leak anyway. That's right. Yeah, and yeah. so what I liked about it, because you know, when you came in, you just said right away, just we're gonna re-roof this, yeah. and they put all new felt down, and then they put the, um, the composition shake back on there, but they overlapped it. So I think the roof is structurally much more sound now, the way they re-roofed it than it was before. Yeah. And I haven't had any issues with leaks or anything like that. Yeah, if you if you do it the right way and uh, you know you, you roll a fresh roof down before installing the solar, then the likelihood of having any issues is very low, which is why it's it's best to just do the right thing when it comes to solar install. Right. Uh, maybe do a little bit more than you, you think you need to do and that way you don't have to worry about any issues down the road. Uh, one other thing I, I'll mention about your roof, um, the section that, uh, that Solar City was, was proposing to install on, on that other side of your roof was a very large section. And if they did end up installing there, you'd have to re-roof that entire section of roof in order to do it the proper way on a clay tile. Right. So you have to kind of composition yeah, You couldn't out. just cut out half the tiles and re-roof half the roof. Some some people do, um, <laughs> and and you know that's that's one way to do it. It's just a, the the integrity is a little bit lower than if you do the whole roof yeah. uh, from from yeah. hip to hip kind of thing. Uh, that's going to be the most waterproof. Yeah, way. but the sun the sun exposure on that was bad too. So 
Yeah, it was a little off angle yeah. uh, to but, the north. But you did, I, I think you did the right approach. You, you got the maximum sun exposure for my panels and put them where they needed to be. And, yeah. And, and, and that's why my, my system just rocks. I mean, with the, the net metering, I'm, I'm doing really well with it, even after charging my cars and having no electric bill. So it's nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Glad to hear it. So I think we've pretty much beat this uh, clay tile roof subject to death, and uh, time yeah. we'll move on to the next one. But okay. um, I'm going to uh, put Tyler's link to his business, his website, in the description below. Feel free to go ahead and click on that. If you want to reach out to Tyler, he'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have regarding solar or solar install. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Take care. We'll see you on the next video. <music>